Please do not make her leave. I'm sorry, Casey. I can't trust you and Maddie together. Why not? Well, A, because you take risks without considering the consequences. Casey, you haven't learned anything from your mistakes with Gwen, have you? <sighs> Mrs. Hughes was right. Just stay strong, Maddie. Room service. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. What did you drink? Good. What's wrong, work? Kids. Ah, you know, number one rule in date night, and you just broke it in the first ten I know, seconds. I know, I'm sorry, but remember uh, the case he was asking about judges that were willing to marry underage kids? It was that school project? Yeah, yeah. Well, last night he and Maddie drove Gwen and Will to Springfield and they got hitched. What? Mm, yeah, Casey lied to you. Also, that he could help Will and Gwen so they could get married without their parents' consent. Oh, and Casey and Maddie, they're a couple now. Mm. Yeah, I've caught them together on the sofa they were. But I, I kicked Maddie out. Well, you have had a full day. Um, mm -hmm. You kicked Maddie out on the street. Well, yeah. Can't have them carrying on like that before our very eyes under our own roof. Well, better under our roof than somewhere else. Where exactly did Maddie go? Well, she's living with Henry Coleman. Here. At a hotel. Wow. Good call. Why don't you make that drink a double? I insist Maddie must come and live with me. Are you sure, Mom? Because we'd never ask. Yes, we would. <laughs> so you will keep Maddie really, really busy, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep them both so busy. But, 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 but not together. I mean, the whole idea is to keep them apart. All right, I'm sorry. Of course you understand. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go talk to Maddie now. And thanks, Mom. Sure. Yeah, thanks, Lisa. Oh, man, it's finally happened, hasn't it? What's happened? I finally turned into Barbara Ryan. I am sneaky and underhanded, and I'm manipulating my son's life. You grounded your son. That was very straightforward. And Barbara Ryan's rap sheet is a lot longer than yours. You're not even in her league. <laughs> what are you doing? Calling Casey and making sure he's at home. Oh, well, that's sneaky and underhanded. Yeah, believe it. Yeah. Madeline, um, it's Lisa Grimaldi. Nothing? Nah, she must be out. I bet she's out. What's the deal? Uh, still no answer. My bet is that she and Casey snuck out. Well, he's not answering his cell phone or the house phone. I think you two are so suspicious. Uh -huh. Maddie! Oh, hi, sorry, I was in the shower. Oh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Hughes. What's up? Well, that depends. Yeah, we're looking for Casey. He's grounded, isn't he? Shouldn't he be at home? Yeah, he should be. Yeah, but he's not answering at home or his cell phone. Huh. Well, maybe he just has his music on his headphones. He said he was going to make me some mixed CDs. I... Well, yeah, that... Hey, that must be it. Don't you two have a date? You're going to stay? Sure. Good night, Maddie. Good night. Have fun. All right, see you later. <laughs>